Hi, this is Suze Eleven Tarot. Okay, yesterday I didn't upload these, but I'm doing, um, so I was doing a love reading for whatever wants to pop up, couples or singles, and then at the end I was doing unsaid sentiments, but some of them I forgot <laughs> to do on the end, I think. <laughs> Okay, so um, we'll see. But now I did all the way up till Scorpio. So now I'm on Sagittarius. So I need to finish up those videos. Okay, and then I'll, I'll upload them. Okay. All right, so first, let me warm up here. Let's get everyday gratitude. Okay, stay true. Stay true to your deepest intuition that an extraordinary and miraculous life is possible. Woo, I like that. We'll take that. Craig Hamilton. What keeps me from trusting? What keeps me from trusting that an extraordinary life is available to me? Okay, so how about this? I am trusting that an extraordinary life is available to me. Thank you. Thank you. I am trusting that an extraordinary life is available to me. Woo! All right. <laughs> Where's my voice? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Gratitude is, is the memory of the heart. St. Mary Euphrasia. Pelletier. How do I experience gratitude in my body? Are you loving on it? Okay. So, right. A lot of times people get mad if there's a certain pain, right? But the, the suggestion here is send it love. Because that's what it's calling for. Okay. Any part of the body. And focus on the whole body, not just the part. Fo focus on the whole body and not the, the symptom or the part. Because what happens a lot of times when there's a condition that shows up is there's other things involved with it. So if you uh, look into loving the whole body, body, mind, and spirit, um, and not just uh, the physical part, the whole body, as in the physical whole body also, um, then it's like you allow uh, the healing to take place. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think we need another spark of grace this morning. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I need him. <laughs> okay, have compassion for people who are suffering. Okay, start your day with positive affirmation or mantra. Okay, we just did, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank a person who has helped you. Okay. So that in the grace box is appreciation. Okay. Send loving thoughts to others. Yeah, that makes a big difference, right? Reflect on how your basic needs are met. Strive to improve yourself every day. Give thanks that you are alive. Yes, amen. Woo, woo. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's see here. We're on Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius love story. Let's get planets for Sagittarius. I'm just curious. Okay. Tenth house, your achievements and status in the outside world. Okay. 
All right, so. Hmm. Okay. Woo! Aquarius. This energy is freedom loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> so if you're getting this Aquarius card in your reading, I feel like what it's calling for is in love. You want to try new and unique things if you're already in a partnership. If you are single and looking for a partner, it's calling for you to, uh, if you have a, a like a usual type that you follow, you want to try uh, the unicorn. Okay. I feel like you would have more satisfaction if you try someone who is, uh, you know, could be these things, who's into modern technology, who, um, you know, likes to go beyond the norm, and who uh, likes to... Uh, travel be free okay and so this might be an open relationship for some of you okay all right and then there are many ways to define that right okay okay so now i feel like if status was very important to you and you spend a lot of time doing that i feel like now what you really want to do is tune within uh, and some of that Saturn stuff probably cleared out. And then so um, you want to go within and, uh, and get deep with your, your love. Okay. Now, the thing is, what you want to do is go deep, but then the suggestion is go outward, like different places. Don't get stuck at home. Go do things. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. Okay, so for some of you singles, this could be an Aquarius. Okay. Also, since uh, Aquarius is showing up, it's Saturn. Okay, so uh, Saturn is in retrograde now, so... Um, you want to move in your honor and integrity as much as possible, okay? Because you want to, if you are in a, a star or, or uh, have a high status, uh, you want to maintain that and move in uh, balance, stability, and honor, right? That's what I'm getting, okay? So think about cause and effect before you take action and ask yourself, what are my intentions, okay? Okay, so some of you might be uh, famous because these eyes are everywhere. Okay. Now, for some of you, this is that Saturn return. Okay, so what is this? Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Okay. For some of you, you're with someone already. Okay, and it looks promising. Okay. Okay. And there are some aspects in a past relationship that you'd like to bring into the future. Some of you are looking at a past relationship that has ended. And, um, and that's getting into the mix somehow here. Okay. Because now the moon is showing up. The good news is you're not spying on that past person anymore. Page of, page of wands. You're focused on this relationship, okay, which is good. But I feel like there's some residual energy there still uh, creeping up sometimes, right? Maybe when you're alone at night for you, you singles. Okay, all right. Okay, so for some of you, you might have felt exposed during this. Some things may have come up, right, before this uh, Saturn uh, retrograde. And um, so you're just trying to... Uh, make peace with that. 
Okay, fine. And remember the good times in the past. Okay, instead of the things that bubbled up. Okay. All right, what about couples? Let's see, couples. Couples Sagittarius. All right, due to status and pursuing money interests, okay, that is what uh, funked stuff, stuff up in relationships for some of you. Okay, now, it was like, it started to look promising, but then, wah, wah, right? And then another one started to look promising, and then, wah, wah, oh, this is couples, Okay, so hold on a minute. Oh, okay, so you were able to work on it with someone, finally, is what I got, finally, and let go of your past. Okay, so this could be you singles now um, doing this, okay. And uh, you found balance and stability in a partnership, okay, for some the couples. Okay, now, and there could have been a period there where it didn't feel so great. You were reaching for new places, okay, with that Aquarius card. Within a relationship dynamic. Now, what that involves is really communicating, okay, openly. That, that's what it's going to take. And to move with a clear mind, and that's how you get, let go of the fighting. <clears throat> okay, and then that's how you free yourself, is you let go of uh, needing to be right, and then that way you free yourself. Okay. All right, so let's flip that. Okay, let's flip that too. Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so this was flipped. So what it's calling for is open-hearted, warm engagements to bring in this Cups of Love. Okay, so, and then here, this was reversed. So no, you're not spying anymore. That's the good news. Okay. All right. And here is the Knight of Pentacles. Y'all, excuse me, I have to stop for a minute, okay? I did this reading, the Sagittarius reading, and the same reading is popping up here. Okay. It's a message to the earth horse. Okay, free yourself. Okay, your ships are coming in. People are watching you. Okay, and they're seeing um, the love you have to offer. You've got a big potential for a new beginning. Okay, so what seems lost here in monetary buildings or things like that, um, it can return. It just takes moving with the flow. Yeah, for some of you, this was like, um, okay, your luck is going to change. This is an earth horse message. Okay, all right, so. And this earth horse message is for the Aquarius, okay. For some of you, it's a cusping energy. Okay. Not cusping. Um, what is that? Placement energy. Okay. So, okay. So the key is to move out of feeling in, uh, feeling like, um, closed in. 
Okay. All right, so maybe some motorcycle maintenance is what I'm getting. Car maintenance. Okay, something like that. Okay, the wheel is coming in. Okay, this is the Libra energy. Okay, so the Libra energy is the tricky energy. Okay, Earth Horse. Okay, so that's the message there. And Okay, that cycle. That cycle is supposed to end, but this one's holding on to it and doesn't was holding on to it and didn't want to go. Okay, but it's ending. Thank goodness. Okay, the key is to um, let your emotions out. Take time to reflect. Okay, so there's going to be big changes. That's what I'm getting. There's going to be big changes. Some of the same cards are coming out from a, a Sagittarius reading I did a while ago. Okay. All right. Okay, so hmm, what do I do now? All right. Okay. So the solution is love. In the spying, or someone's watching you. Okay. Earth horse. Okay, and you're trying to free yourself, and love is this answer. Three of Wands. Your ships are going to come in. You feel like everyone's watching you. There's a new beginning, potential. Whatever happened here, this is the war stuff. Okay, um, that's ending. A new cycle's coming in, Wheel of Fortune. And then here is the one that hasn't been communicating and staying indoors. That's a Libra. They had a lot of burdens. A lot of weight on their shoulders. And so did you, I feel like. Okay. So on both sides, there, have, there has been a balancing act going on here. Okay. And part of their problem was that they weren't going within. Using this hermit energy to self-reflect and do self-study. Okay, and uh, that's why they were doing negative stuff with the ships. All right. Um, yeah, they were blocking their own abundance. They weren't moving in clarity. They were mo moving in uh, shadow. Okay. And that's, that's Libra upside down. So maybe they weren't so positive, right? What they're all the things they were doing. Okay. So here is a, um, they want, they want to be together with you. That was the whole bottom line, but things got funky because they had control issues. Okay. But there is this potential of being friends again, but it may take time, right? 
Okay, so I feel like they feel like three is a crowd. So, um, <laughs> I won't say who the third party is, but <laughs> okay. So, this is Earth Horse message. Okay. Um, okay. All right, so there's a new world <clears throat> stepping in. Okay. And it seemed like it was slow coming, but it's picking up. Six of Wands. Okay. And Spirit is assisting. King of Wands. Okay. Okay, so for the Earth Horse, the message is get in, uh, harmonize with that, um, the fire energy. Okay. Yeah. And don't throw out love. That's the key. This is like walking away from love. You got to have love to move in. See, if you don't move with love, look what happens. So whatever you're doing, practice that with your partner, uh, love, right? Let that be the dominant energy ruling your mind. Okay. See, some of the same cards. I did a Sagittarius reading, and it came out, and some of the same cards are coming for that. Okay, so. And so this was like heaven. So this is like bringing your dreams into this physical reality. Okay. It's like rising and bringing it down. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting is um, Queen of Swords. Okay, so you want to be warm like the Queen of Wands. Okay. Queen of Wands and Knight of Wands. Okay, so... Uh, you may be raising frequency, right? Okay. And um, seek assistance when you need it. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Connect with your partner. Okay. So that's like being able to... Uh, Bring back your courage and bringing in the money, the fruits of your labor. Okay. All right. So there are times when you had to uh, be a part due to uh, this Capricorn energy, okay. And those were hard times, right? Because that's like your your cozy place. All right, now, the key is to Yeah, keep reaching for your new beginning, right? Whatever it is uh, that you're focused on that isn't so positive, and it's in the physical reality, move out of that. Keep focusing on how you're going to bring in the new beginning. How am I going to bring in this new beginning? And keep focusing there. And then all this can come back sooner, being together. Building strong foundations using this Capricorn energy. Okay. New foundations. Okay. And feeling like you have the energy to do it. Okay. And by raising your energy. Okay. And moving in warmth. There's sunflower up here. There's like moss everywhere. Okay, so this is you triumph, the triumph over whatever this beastly thing is, right? Okay. All right, now here is you, the samurai, with high vision. 
<laughs> okay. All right. So this has been the, I want to, I don't even know how to label it. Okay. So I'm just going to figure that out later. Thank you.